Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video and in today's video I want to share with you guys a setting that you should change if you want to be able to aim better Build faster and just build that consistency that you need in order to win game after game here in the season So definitely stay tuned in the video because it's a setting that I think everybody should change that is going to make a drastic difference on how fast you're able to build and also your accuracy and real quick before we get to the video up on the screen i have the v buck giveaway winner of this week i give away 2000 v bucks every single friday so if you guys like to participate in the next giveaway and win some free v bucks all you guys have to do is to drop a like on the video make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already hit the notification bell and as well leave a comment down below of your xbox gamer tag psn gamer tag or epic account and you guys will be automatically entered if you guys would like to support them in the item shop all you guys have have to do is go down to the bottom right click on supporter creator type in my creator code which is young humor and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator and lastly i'm super excited to announce my new merch you guys can find it in the link in the description or the pinned comment if you guys are interested definitely get a long sleeve t-shirt or a hoodie if you guys like it and with that being said let's get right to the video all right, so in this video, I want to share with you guys a setting that I recently changed that I think you guys should as well. I think it's really great. Helps me aim a lot better and to build much quicker. So going into your settings, what you want to change, and I really want to explain exactly what this does. So in your settings, you want to go over to your combat controls, your configurations, and you have different control platforms. You have the Xbox One, PS4, and the generic. I really like the generic, and that's the one you want to change it to. So when it comes to the different configurations as far as the inputs you can play on whichever on whichever controller that you have you don't actually have to have a different controller in order to switch the inputs all you do is literally click on whatever input you want and then you hit apply and then it automatically applies but each of the inputs makes your analog sticks react a little bit differently and this is something that i, I can try to explain but it's really easy to notice once you change it yourself, so if you play on Xbox, you can change it to PS4 and then generic and you can try out the differences and you guys will immediately tell a difference in between each of the controller platforms, which I think is really cool because they just have a different way on they feel. So if you're on linear, it still feels like linear, but it feels a little bit different. So with the Xbox one compared to the PS4, I think the PS4 one feels a little bit more stiff than the xbox so here i am on the xbox one i think with all of these it really just comes down to a personal preference on how it because it's really just how it feels so it really comes down to a personal preference on what you like the best for the xbox one i think is really great for building and editing because it does have more of a linear feel everything feels really uh smooth everything feels really responsive and i feel that like my build and edits are some of the best on the xbox one configuration the ps4 one as i said it feels a little bit more stiff compared to the xbox one meaning with the ps4 i think it's really great for aiming because i, I feel as if my shots from longer ranges are really great and I'm able to hit them time and time again. So I think the PS4 one is great as well. As I mentioned, they're all personal preference, but this one undeniably is going to feel a little bit stiffer than the Xbox one. And that's why you see some people who play on PS4, they'll play on the Xbox one configuration just because it doesn't feel as stiff as the configuration for PS4. So I think the aim is really great here. I'm just, I'm just constantly missing it because of the angle I have, but it is great because it feels more stiff than the other two. And the reason why I like the generic one and kind of why I'm going to be changing to it is because it's kind of a mix of both. And the way it feels is it's hard to just like explain, but I'm able to hit my shots way more consistently on the generic one as opposed to the Xbox or the PS4. And that's just based on how it feels. I can't really exactly tell you how it is it's kind of you just have to put it on and you see for yourself but you'll know immediately you're going to be able to hit more shots you're going to be a lot more consistent with your builds and it's the setting that you just want to have and of course personal preference if you don't like it you can always switch it back but i would recommend giving it a couple games because of course your first game you might not be exactly used to it so you might miss a couple more shots but once you get used to it i think it's way better being on the generic configuration as opposed to the other ones so put it on and definitely give it a couple games because your first game might be kind of weird trying to get used to it but after a few games i guarantee your aim is going to be much better than before so that's why i recommend for you guys to change to the setting if you haven't already because i know a lot of you guys probably haven't and i only recently just tried it out i have gotten recommendations from you guys to give this setting a try and i really do like it i kind of just didn't mess with it for a while i just i just never tried it i don't know for whatever reason but giving this a try over the last couple of days i think it's really great and as i said doesn't matter which controller you have you can 
be on any controller and utilize this. So as far as the sensitivity, I think if you play on generic, I would recommend actually lowering your sensitivity just a little bit. I kind of just show the settings that I currently have. And then I decided that I'm still going to keep the ones that I had. I think it was like a 53 and a 51%. But I would recommend if you feel like your aim, like you're on generic and you feel like your aim just quite isn't the way it needs to be. I would recommend just lowering your sensitivity by a couple points. And it's going to help you lock in your shots that otherwise you may have not. Just because if you play on, say... PS4 and then move over to generic, it might feel a little bit faster, meaning that you want to either raise your look damping time or you want to lower your X and Y sensitivity because it might feel just slightly too fast, but there is workaways around it and I think generic is the way to go, so if you guys haven't changed that setting, I think it is necessary. And also, one last thing I wanted to touch on, so if you guys ever do change, say, your sensitivity or settings, so if you change to ge generic, or if you end up just lowering or raising your sensitivity, a really great way to get used to your sensitivity really fast, because once you change settings, it's going to take a little bit of muscle memory to get used to, so this applies to really anything. I think the best way to go about it, if you are changing some of your sensitivities, a way to get used to it really quickly is to play things like Zone Wars and Box Fights, because if you hop into a solo game, because say you want it, uh, you change your sensitivity, say you lower your sensitivity and you're trying to improve on your aim. The only time you're going to be able to improve your aim is when you're in gunfights. And then when you're in a solo game, you're going to spend probably half the game farming mats, getting shield, and then finally, you know, just running around the map. So you're probably going to spend half the game running around the map, collecting materials and getting to and getting to storm instead of fighting and if you want to get used to sensitivities and settings really quickly you want to be constantly fighting other players because that's going to how uh, that's going to be the way you're improving so playing things like zone wars and box fights you're, you're able to fight people constantly over and over again without having to spend like 10 minutes farming getting your hp and rotating you're just going to be able to get used to the new sensitivity you have and improve much faster as a player because you cut out all the time getting mats because you're not going to be able to get used to a sensitivity when you're just farming. You're really only going to get better with it when you're fighting other players and in gunfights. So like I said, zone wars and box fights, of course, there's other things like 1v1s. Those things like that I think are really great as well. So those are the settings that I would recommend changing if you guys do. As I mentioned, Zone Wars box fights, 1v1s, things like that where you're able to fight players constantly. It's going to be a really great way to get your muscle memory down. I think it's great for improving. Also, if you do change your sensitivity, I think it's just the way to go because you're going to be able to get that muscle memory much quicker than farming and running around for half the game. But with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you guys found this of value. If you guys could, drop a like. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hit the notification bell so you guys get notified. For every single new video and as I do live stream most days 4 30 Eastern Standard Time on the channel hit that notification bell so you guys will get notified for when I go live on the channel but with that being said I really appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys I'll see you next video